removing barriers for people with disabilities. It's the ultimate goal of the Americans with Disabilities Act. And in tonight's To America's report, ABC 15 investigator Courtney Holmes looks at one Valley City that's becoming a national model for how to get that done. An uneven sidewalk can be an inconvenience for some of us, but for people who have a disability, it can make it nearly impossible to navigate through everyday life. Tempe is putting in a lot of resources to try and fix that. Before I would go anywhere, I definitely scouted out to make sure that everybody has access to get to the court. Reconnaissance missions at the park, their second nature to Caitlin Verfurth. It's frustrating. Figuring out what obstacles stand between her wheelchair and where she needs to go. When you pull up somewhere and you get all your equipment out and then you're like, dang, I can't get up that curb. Here we go. In Caitlin's line of work, that happens a lot. She's a recreational therapist who teaches students with disabilities to gain independence through athletics. It's pretty life changing stuff what we get to do. I feel very blessed. Another reason it's so important to her that everywhere have access for everyone. How can we make it easy for everybody, not just someone with a disability? It's what Nanette O'Dell calls universal design. That universal design idea of making it uh, accessible, adaptable for as many people as possible. That's She's the ADA compliance specialist with the city of Tempe. And over the past several years, she and a team of engineers have gathered data on every major intersection, sidewalk, bus stops, even city bathrooms. Bring this down. To evaluate how to make them more accessible, like this adult changing table at City Hall. That it's low enough, that would be where you would assist a person in transferring back to their wheelchair, for example. The project is part of the city's Americans with Disabilities Act transition plan that the United States Department of Justice requires of every government agency to get public facilities up to current ADA standards. Transition plan says this is how we get from where we are to where we need to be. And experts found that Tempe's is one of the best in the country. Yohai Eisenberg is a researcher with the Great Lakes ADA Center at University of Illinois, Chicago. Tempe also did a really neat job with using technology uh, through uh, maps and engaging people. Here's how. It shows sidewalks and curb ramps, traffic signals. Stephanie Dietrich took all that data and put it in this map, showing where things were evaluated and what's happening right now. A lot of the playground improvements that have been done, I think, are, are really exciting. Oh! It's exciting to Caitlin, too. Growing up, I really wish I had this surface. The wheelchair-friendly surfaces and modified playground equipment at Tempe's Hollis Park some of those improvements. But look at how much fun he's going to have in this one. Yep. Giving her yeah. and her students Good. one less place to have to worry about scouting out. It's allowing all kids, no matter what, the ability to play. In Tempe, I'm Courtney Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona. Love that story. To see others like it from across the nation and right here in Arizona, simply go to abc15.com forward slash two Americas. Also, we'd love your ideas for the series. To share those, send them to share at abc15.com. And catch every 